So I've been given a challenge to record the amount of fuel that's used um, at an airbase and specifically a carrier for a future carry ops type um, work. And uh, I've had a look and, and I've written a, it's a fairly short script, but um, what this does is it actually records the amount of fuel that's used, um, even down to uh, if you start with an, uh, a half full tank. So I'm going to show you what this does. I was quite pleased with how it turned out, actually. So the scenario here is that we've got four SU-33s taking off from the Kuznetsov, and they will um, they all have different fuel uh, on board. Each one's different. I'm going to run my script. Okay, so we start off with a, an arbitrary number. Uh, here I've picked 20 for the total fuel on board the carrier. And uh, given the same plane type, uh, each plane type has a uh, fuel capacity of 1 for internal tanks. So from 20, every time a plane takes off, uh, it records the fuel that's used. So he's only got a 3 quarter fuel tank. You see 0.66 and it then deducts the fuel from the carrier that he's taken off. Uh, I've rounded these figures up, they're actually really really uh, exact. DCS gives you quite a lot. So you can see what we've already deducted that, and we've got 19.34 from 20. So I'm going to continue, we'll get all this whole flight taken off and I'm going to advance time and you can see what happens here. So he takes off we're the quarter of a tank, we're down to 19. And the last one taking off with half tank. And we're down to 17. So now let's fast forward. So what the script will do is it's going to take uh, whatever fuel that the plane landed with and then put it back into stock. And we're doing this all without the resource manager. And the reason we're going to do this is uh, very simple because I'm aiming for a campaign that uh, can store this fuel data off uh, offline. It will save it to file. Um, and we use doors to capture the carrier's movement. Um, and the idea is that uh, fuel becomes a resource, uh, going to start shipping it in via a helicopter uh, if it becomes too low. So here's the SU-33 landing in the beautiful 2.1C. He's given 0.61 of his tank back that he's had and we come back up to 17. So you're getting the pattern here. We're actually recording all the, uh, the fuel. I, I ran this once before and we noticed uh, it was about for four doing that quick lap. It was about half a tank total fuel between the four of them that was used. Um, so uh, this is pretty accurate and actually f uh, DCS records it to something like 10 decimal places. I had to round it up because it was just silly. Um, but what we could do in the script is then uh, we need to add to that. So the idea is that uh, you've got something that you've got something that um, measures your fuel, it's then going to write it out to a, uh, a file on disk and then you've got a persistent uh, resource manager fuel that follows you uh, through the campaign and uh, the, when it gets to zero we'll slot, slot block the uh, the um, SU-33 so they can't take off again uh, or in this case it would be Harriers uh, or whatever the next naval thing will be, it could be Hornets and so on um, and that way that you, you can manage it outside of the resource manager system um, and do uh, your own resupplies and I'm going to be adding a, a module to this which will uh, have helicopters um, and they can go and pick out the cargo and then bring it back uh, to the ship to um, top up its fuel reserves. So let's just wind it on for the last two. It does some quite clever things, really, if you think about it. it. It does it right down to a very accurate number, which I've had to round up to two decimal places. Oh, look, we've got a, a jam. <laughs> Good old DCS.
Boom. Nice. So, doesn't look like I've modelled giving back the fuel <laughs> after it explodes. They must have been very quick to take it off. Um, but uh, regardless, uh, the simplicity of this is there. Oh look, this one's going to float off the end. I love a demo where something unexpected happens. We'll get all our fuel back. <laughs> Oh, genius. Genius. Only in this world. The first time I ran this, it was perfectly fine. I wonder if you'll ever get landing permission again. It's going to have a go. Nevertheless, despite this, the script persists and it still tracks it. <laughs> There we go, he had uh, three quarters of a, a tank left. That looks like we only used 0.25 of uh, uh, a fuel tank for this quick round the lap. So, that's the script. Um, I might release it uh, when it gets a little bit more mature and we do something. Very, very short actually. Uh, it just relies on the non vent takeoff. Um, it grabs the, uh, the fuel um, from the unit that took off. I do some rounding on it to check it and then I deduct it and then when it comes back I add it and I've got a scheduler here that runs and every so often checks how much fuel there is um, and at this point I'll be setting a flag to disable or block the slots if there's not enough fuel for a full tank. Thanks for watching.